This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. The Gigafactory is instrumental to the growth of what we're trying to do here. Tesla Motors is making a substantial investment in our region by building its long-anticipated Gigafactory here. And only on due, we take you along for a tour of Tesla Motor Factory to see how we'll play a role in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. Well, the $5 billion Gigafactory is expected to employ 65 hundred people right here in northern Nevada once it's fully operational. And when that happens, they'll be manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. Good evening, I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Thank you for staying with us tonight. Tesla officials say the plan will produce 30 gigabytes of energy every single year. Much of it will be used in electric cars. Paul Nelson visited the Tesla Motors factory in Fremont, California, and found out more about what northern Nevadans' role will be in the company's plans. It's a story you will see only on two. Tesla's Gigafactory is expected to open early next year, and these are the batteries they're going to be making. It takes 7,000 of these that go into a shell that go into the undercarriage of the car, and it's these batteries that make it go. This is where it all begins. What starts as a long spool of aluminum takes shape as one of America's most advanced electric cars. Gas and diesel-powered engines have gone as far as they can go. Electric is definitely the way of the future. The Tesla Model S is fueled by a high-powered electric battery unit with a range up to 270 miles between charges. It can go 0 to 60 in as little as 2.8 seconds, something I was able to try out firsthand. It's akin to flipping a switch in your bedroom. When you flip a switch, it doesn't rev up and then the light turns on. The light turns on automatically because the power instant is instantaneous. The batteries that power these cars will be manufactured just a few hours away from the Tesla Motors headquarters at the Story County Gigafactory. What we are trying to do is advance electric vehicles and uh, renewable transportation. And what we need is a state-of-the-art facility that can build all the batteries that will that are going to be needed to do that. Tesla uses about 10% of the world's supply of lithium-ion batteries, and Reyes says the Gigafactory will make the company the world's largest supplier as well. A lot of people think about Tesla and they think that we are a car company. Uh, what people are starting to learn is that we're a energy storage company, and the Gigafactory is going to be instrumental in helping us move forward there. The price of the Tesla Model S and Model X starts in the 70,000s, and the Model 3 will be available in 2017 for around $35,000. But Reyes says don't expect Tesla to start mass producing cars anytime soon, even as the cost of batteries and technology drop. You're either going to be producing cars for the masses, or you're going to be leading the way in technology, and we've chosen to lead the way in technology. It takes about five or six days to build one of these cars from start to finish, and about a thousand of them roll off the line every single week. Now, this factory is about 5.3 million square feet. To give you an idea how big the Gigafactory is, it's roughly twice this size. Covering the big story in Fremont, California, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.